I'm Rich Pino from Primer, and on today's hardware video tech tip, we're going to learn how to make this plastic packaging tray using this thin, low-cost PETG thermal form sheet with this polycarbonate FDM mold and this vacuum thermal form. Let's go ahead and get started. While we have many FDM printers that are capable of printing prototype thermal form molds using ABS or ASA, the Fortis 450 is the best option out there. We love using the Fortis 450 for thermoform molds because of the polycarbonate material. Polycarbonate can get up to the temperatures that we need to run at consistently, over 200 degrees Fahrenheit, and doesn't flinch at those stresses. It's incredibly rigid, so it's not going to warp on us at all. It'll just stay nice and flat on the bed of the thermoformer. And it can print at seven and even five thou layer height. The reason that's important is because the smoother the overall part that we're molding off of, the smoother the fold sheet will end up being. For our cap and tray molds, we're going to use 7 thou layer height to print these molds because it's the best combination of overall print speed and part smoothness. Coming over to GraphCAD Print, you can see that our mold looks perfect. It's going to print exactly how we're seeing it on the screen. And as we scroll through the part, you can see we've actually given it a sparse, low-density infill to get great vacuum. Now, with that said, we can get even better vacuum by using our Insight software, which is a part of Graphic Print. You can actually see the orange layers, which are the support underneath the mold. And we've actually removed the cap layers, which are normally solid. And instead, we've put in hexagram infill for those cap layers. So we're going to get the best possible vacuum through this mold. Now that our part's finished, we're going to go ahead and remove this mold from the build tray of the 450, and we're going to take the supports off so you can see the underside of the part, which is going to get fantastic vacuum on our thermoformer. Just looking from the underside of this model, you can see that the mold is nearly translucent because of how hollow it is. The top surface is very solid and we'll get a fantastic overall shape of our pole, but we're going to have fantastic airflow through it. We're just going to use a little bit of mold release on this mold to make sure that the plastic sheet releases nicely from the mold itself. I had it happen in some of our test runs where if the draft angles aren't great or, you know, the part is too tall, sometimes the thermal form sheet has a hard time releasing. So, you know, we just want to make that process as easy as possible. So next, I go ahead and put this thermal form sheet into the machine. And once it hits temperature, we're going to raise that up. And then we're going to slide our polycarbonate thermal form mold into the system itself. You can see that a bubble is starting to form. What's happening is that the sheet itself is starting to get so hot that it is melting. It is a thermoplastic material. And once it gets to a certain point, we're okay to turn the heat off, lower that plastic sheet over our mold, and turn on the vacuum. And once we have the part pulled, it cools really quickly. And then we can remove our mold from the sheet, and we have our thermoform sheet left over. And we're going to do the same thing one more time for the cap part. This cap part will protect our tray of demo parts from getting damaged in shipment. And it also has a feature to allow our parts to sit nicely when on display. Again, just like the first tray, once that plastic melts enough, again, this is PETG plastic, once it melts enough, then we can go ahead, turn off the heat, lower the plastic sheet, and pull vacuum on the mold. And there we have it. We have our pulled plastic sheet ready to go.
here you have the bottom and top together. And if you flip them around, you can actually set your parts right on top for display at an event. Here's the Origin 1 demo part. Here are my two thumb screw parts. And here's the left and right half of our nylon CF10 soft jaws. We'll go ahead and close them up with the cover. And now, if I take this box out and place the parts in there, you can see they will fit very nice and snug and be safe for transportation purposes. There we go, closed up, nice and safe. And there you have it. We've used our Stratasys Fortis 450 printer to print polycarbonate molds, which we've thermoformed into beautiful packaging for our Origin One demo part kit. I hope you found this informative, and I also hope that you found this as to be an inspiration to print incredible parts in the future. Thanks for joining us.